This is part of the rain setup we've got. The back bag has its rain cover. And the front doesn't, so we put our jacket like that. <laughs> this is my coat, hopefully that's visible. And then I've got this. <laughs> We're fortunate it's not raining too much. We're on our way to the train. Scenic train. Scenic train from National Park to Wellington. Ooh. Hopefully it's not this rainy the whole yes. way. For the train, it's been delayed for an hour and a half, maybe two hours. And when we walked here, it was super rainy, so we got really wet. Now, obviously, the sun is out. So. <laughs> Entering the scenic Northern Explorer, the large windows on all sides makes the world passing by feel at your fingertips. With the sun shining, it's a peaceful ride with friendly passengers. With an open air viewing carriage, we could smell the fresh air anytime we liked. The Makatote River is our first magnificent view from the third tallest viaduct in New Zealand. The astonishing landscape reveals itself only briefly as the train rides on. Mount Ruapehu with its snow-capped ridges seems to never disappear into the horizon. Though many of the views are fleeting, they are immediately replaced by new ones, often including grazing sheep that get startled by the train. Even the toilet is exciting on this train. Just look at that door close. It's just missing a window to the outside. The Rangatike River passes us by, before we pass 81 meters above it. Staring over the sheer sandstone cliffs that emanate a soft off-white glow as the afternoon sun heats their surface. With so much to see, the ride is more tiring than I expected. We pass the Rangatike River once more, over the southern viaduct, enormous ridges of sandstone eaten away by the flowing river. With the never-ending rolling hills, flocks of sheep, and one river after another, I had a hard time staying seated on this train. There is even an informative audio that can be listened to over the journey, but only if you're seated. Here we look over the Kapiti coast as it stretches off into the Tasman Sea. In this last leg of our journey, you'll see a ferry across the Wellington Harbour, one we will be taking next to cross the Cook Strait on our way to Picton on the South Island. Just coming out of a 1.24 kilometer tunnel and seeing the Wellington coastline and harbor. It's turned into a rather beautiful day today as we've headed south from National Park all the way to Wellington. It's about 8 p.m. Journey's coming to an end. Wellington. And the ferries are so close by. They're right behind us over there. That's where we're taking tomorrow to go all the way to Christchurch. 6am. Yeah, it's going to be very early. It's going to be a long journey. Long day, but we might see the sunrise. Yeah. <laughs> Stepping into Wellington. Bye, Paul. There are parliamentary buildings here in Wellington just over there as we come out of the train station. And I guess this is University. University yeah.